what is there in this question now a student uses a load to pull a box up a ramp inclined at 30 degree a string of constant length and negligible mass connects the box to the load that falls vertically the string passes over the pulley that runs on a frictionless axle friction acts between the base and the box base of the box and the ramp air resistance is negligible okay uh, majority of the data is uh, already mentioned in the in the diagram itself so nothing much to read here the load has a mass of 3.5 kgs here fine and uh, it's initial 0. Point, initially 0. 0.95 meter above the floor mass of the box is 1.5 outline the differences between the momentum of the box and the momentum of the load at the same instant so momentum is a, a vector so i can clearly say that the momentum for this will be in the downward direction because the velocity will be downward and for this the momentum will be in a different direction so uh, point number one could be that the direction of both of the momentum is different and point number two is that uh, obviously the momentum for these two will be different and why when there are two masses which are connected with one inextensible string they are always having the same displacements they have the same velocity and they move with the same acceleration if there is ever happening. So everything is the same. So they are moving with the same velocities. Okay. So they're moving with the same velocity. So because they're having different masses and hence we can say that the momentum here is different and the momentum here is different. So these are two different momentums in the magnitude. Number two, they are different in the direction. So I think these are the two points that have to be given here. Let us, uh, read what is written in the mark scheme direction of the motion is different and the momentum is different the magnitude of momentum is different so they have also given the same answer let us go to 1b now so 1b is the vertical acceleration of the downward load is 2.4 that is given calculate the tension in the string so it is written here we are going to concentrate on the load the acceleration downward is 2.4 meter per second square it is not 9.8 and why is it not 9.8 because it is not freely falling body it is experiencing a tension in the upward direction so i can say that yes there is a force downward which is weight but there is a counter tension which is in the upward direction we don't know about the magnitudes definitely because the body is going downwards the weight will be more than the tension isn't it so that i know but magnitude we have to find so we can create an equation here like what is the f net now on this body so f net will be w minus t and this will be equal to m into a so w is the m into g tension we need we, we, we want to find acceleration is given as 2.4 meter per second square so mg mass is 3.5 kg so 3.5 into 9.8 minus tension is equal to 3.5 into 2.4 and from this equation we are going to find the value of the tension t so i'm not going to calculate it because it would be unnecessarily taking more time so you can just pause the video you can solve this thing by yourself and you can find that value of tension t but i will be moving to the mark scheme and i will show you the answer okay so the answer is given like this so clearly ma is equal to mg minus t the way i have done mg is downwards t is the tension so mg minus t is the net force which is equal to m into a clearly they are having this equation from here we can find that the answer will be 26 newton or even 27 if uh, the acceleration is taken as 10 anyways so we would be getting the answer 26 so this is how we do the question 1b let us go to 1c now yeah 1c is here show that the speed of load when it hits the floor is about 2.1 meter per second okay fine 2.1 acceleration is 2.4 going back to the diagram the acceleration is 2.4 meter per second we have to prove that when this body is going to hit the floor the velocity is 2.1 meter per second we have to see it is starting with the initial velocity zero so a very simple application of the suart equation here will be sufficient for us the displacement is given so we can go for v square minus u square is equal to 2as 
Okay. And now we are going to plug in the values. So as I have already told you in the theory classes, so point number one is that you have to write the SWOT equation. Point number two, we will go for the sign convention. So everything is downwards. So that is why we are choosing downward direction to be positive. And this point will be taken as the origin as I have told you in the theory classes now. So the final velocity, we don't know. This is zero and this is two. Acceleration is nine point. No. Acceleration is 2.4 in the downward direction. Displacement is also downwards with respect to origin. So even that will have a positive value. So we will just put it as 0 0.95. Accordingly, we can find 2 into 2.4 into 0 .9, 0 0.95 square root will be our final velocity. So you can find the final velocity with the help of your calculator. Let me move, move to the mark scheme. Yes, so according to the mark scheme, what is happening? You see, uh, yes. So by proper use of kinematical equation that we have already done, 2as. So it is 2 here, a here, s here. And we would be getting 2.4. So our answer will also be 2.14 meter per second. So in the exact manner we have done just like the way they have shown in the mark scheme. Very good. So 1A, 1B and 1C is over. If you have any doubt, you can uh, refer to the video again. You can go back and watch the video. Let us now move to next question. After the load has hit the floor, which is going to be at the velocity of 2.1 meter per second, the box travels further by the distance of 0 0.35 meter along the ramp before coming to rest. Determine the average frictional force between the box and the surface of the ramp. So you have to find the frictional force with which uh, it is moving and it is up going, it is traveling the distance of 0 0.35. Okay, fine. So why is it not yeah yeah okay so 0 0.35 now this is the diagram so what is given here so when this box is going downwards and it has reached the bottom so it has covered the distance of 0 0.95 and after it like they would be moving at the same velocities as i told you so it was established that this was moving at the velocity of 2.1 meter per second so it means that when box has traveled a distance of 0 0.95, the box was now moving with a velocity of 2.1 meter per second. Now after that, the load is not moving. And so the force which was applied on the box, that force is no longer applied. Now it is, but it is having a momentum. So it will just go above a bit more. So the distance traveled now is 0 0.35 meter and it has reached at this position. So uh, how to create a diagram here? Uh, like this is the somewhat like this, isn't it? Yeah, this will be the hypotenuse and approximate diagram is created. So 0 0.35 is this distance. I'm naming it as A, B and this is C. So C is going to be the right angle triangle now. So this ABC and the distance traveled is 0 0.35. So it was, we would be going for the uh, conservation of energy principle now because SWAT equations will be really complex here. So what is the initial energy? So initial energy is half mv square. So this kinetic energy is doing work at two places. Like it, it is increasing the gravitational potential energy of the body and also it is doing the work done against friction so we will find this now half mass is 1.5 and it was moving with the velocity of 2.1 when this body was hitting the floor the body at this point was moving with 2.1 meter per second and after that the velocity starts reducing so this is equal to gravitational potential energy which is m g h now, this is the h, the height that I am referring to. This is the height h. How to find this? 
so this angle theta will be given to us this theta is equal to 30 degree so i can say that uh, this is given as 0 0.35 so this is 30 degree so this will be 0 0.35 sine 30 like this is 0 0.35 this is 30 degree so this will be 0 0.35 sin 30 this will be the cost but we are not interested in ac we are only interested in bc so that value we can substitute here so h can be substituted as 0 0.35 multiplied by sin 30 degree now after that plus there will be some work done against the friction oh so okay they are not talking about the coefficient of friction no we are just interested in what is the magnitude of friction so we will just assume that the friction is backward we are not going to apply mu mg cos theta because we are not interested in coefficient of friction i thought that we would be going there but anyways so the work done will be this into the distance traveled that is 0 0.35 game over from this equation we would be finding the friction force f and we are not calculating you can use your calculator and try to find the value of f i would be going to the mark scheme and i will see what is happening there in the mark scheme uh, okay yes so the mark scheme will be uh this much we are not using swat equations yeah we would be going for the alternative two here yes so what is happening you see uh, the kinetic energy initial is equal to work done to stop it uh, plus potential energy where is that okay so they have not included the height that is gained there sine 30 is cos 60 is half so the distance will be 0 0.17 we cannot neglect that just a moment let me see kinetic energy initial is equal to work done to stop so this is the kinetic energy equal to work done so they have not included the um, the 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 gravitational potential energy but i think that they should not be doing this thing let us see what is the answer that we are getting with this so i would be using okay i okay i would be using my calculator now just a moment just a moment let me do this uh this uh okay calculation is quite cumbersome yes uh, by using this thing also i am getting the answer as 2.1 newtons so our answer is still correct might be because the height gained is very very low like height gained is 0 0.17 meter so that is why they have might be neglected that but i don't think that you can do that but if you don't do it even then you would be getting the approximate answer so the equation that we have created is also correct uh, they have not used the gravitational potential energy, but that is clearly a surprise to me. Uh, let us see once more. Kinetic energy is equal to F net into 0 0.35. So F net is coming out to be this. Yeah, they have they have used this. They have used this net force minus the weight down the ramp they have done exactly the same thing that we have done the only thing is that the way they have written is quite confusing that is the only thing but otherwise they have done exactly the same thing so uh, no problem let us now move to the next question okay so 2.1 and this we have done quite many things now and so is it over or what yeah one e okay so the student then makes the ramp horizontal so this is completely different question now student then makes the ramp horizontal applies a constant horizontal force to the box the force is just 
लार्ज इनफ टू स्टार्ट द बॉक्स मूविंग सो इट मीन्स दैट इट वॉज एक्टिंग बाय द मैक्सिम पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टार्टिंग फ्रिक्शन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन एंड दिस इज द फोर्स दैट वी हैव अप्लाइड नाउ सो एफ अप्लाइड इज इक्वल टू एफ एस मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू the uh, which is equal to by the way mu into the normal reaction isn't it so that we already know the force continues to be applied after the box begins to move explain with reference to the frictional force acting why the box accelerates when it has started to move so why there will be an acceleration now obviously there will be an acceleration because this is the friction value the maximum possible friction value like mu mg it is going to give you like let us say let us say we have 10 newton of the force so what it means is that the maximum possible friction will be 10 newton and so you have to apply a force bigger than 10 newton otherwise the body will not move but once the body starts moving now the friction which is acting is fk kinetic friction or you can call it dynamic friction this fk is usually lesser then fs max which means that now when this body is moving the friction acting is not the maximum value but it is fk which is definitely lesser than 10 newton but this we have just assumed to be an ex we have just taken an example so the force now was 10 newton so i am erasing this 10 newton so please do not get confused in 10 newton okay like students could be like from where the 10 newton is coming so i am telling you again f is the force so once you want to move it that should be equal to fs max but once it starts moving the friction reduces its value and it becomes fk but this force is still equal to fs max so fs max is bigger fk is lesser so f net will be fs max minus fk which is definitely greater than zero it is not equal to zero and clearly this f net will be equal to m into a so it will be having an accelerated motion there is no doubt about that so this is the answer to this question we would be referring to the mark scheme also i think this is the last question for this okay so yeah this is e and after that yes we would be going to question number two yeah static coefficient friction is greater than the dynamic or the kinetic coefficient of friction therefore the force of kinetic friction will be lesser so there will be unbalanced force so f is equal to m into a so there will be an acceleration okay dear students so this is how we do this question and uh, i hope the concepts will be really very clear with you if there is any other feedback that you want to give please mention that in comment section or you can mention that in the whatsapp chat in the group that you might be added by now so if you have not added yourself into that group just search for that uh, that uh, link there okay uh, i have shared that link already so you can go to the community page and you can find the whatsapp link you can connect with me on whatsapp okay then dear student all the best bye i would be posting other questions now bye